I've had a request of what I do uh, with my peas pudding. So I basically make a quiche and I use this peas pudding as a pastry substitute basically. So for this recipe you will need two tins of peas pudding with one egg and some salt and pepper. That is what you will need for your pastry. For the inside of the quiche now you can put whatever veg you want in. I've got some red onion, mushrooms and pepper which are all speed and I've also got some sliced in half plum tomatoes for the top they're also speed. I've also got this from Asda uh, the premium lean ham which is free on the plan. I'm going to chop that into some chunks so that is basically my uh, what topping kind of thing I'm having in there. I've also grated 80 grams of the less fat less fat low fat cheese so that is two healthy extra a's but obviously when you're doing it in your quiche if you cut it into four basically each one is going to be a quarter and so on so on um i also like to add some garlic granules and some mixed herbs and also three eggs and some quark to do it so and i've also lined my big spring loaded tin with some greaseproof paper i've just sprayed it with a bit of fly, fry light in there just to make it help it stay in place so this is what i'm going to use and the first thing i'm going to do is the peas pudding for the pastry so i'll just get everything ready and i'll show you what you do with that so i've emptied the two tins of the peas pudding into a bowl and i'm just going to use a fork and i'm just going to literally break it down uh, some people i know do use a potato masher so it's up to you i just find it easier just to use the back of a fork just to break it down it's just literally it really does smell of mushy peas but yeah it's uh, it is a really nice recipe you know when you fair fancy in a quiche that's not crustless that has basically got that little bit of a pastry fix find this really really nice and i know some people as well do use it for like a meat and potato pie as well like a steak pie i've noticed a lot of people do that so i broke it down what i'm going to do is i'm going to break one egg into this i'm not the best egg breaker but there we go one egg in there Let's get rid of that. and then i'm just going to literally beat that in Beat this until it's nice and smooth. Some people do put two eggs in, and one egg is enough, but once again, it is it's up to the individual. I'll give that a good beat up. So, once it's looking smooth, you're just going to want to add some salt and pepper in to season it. So, it's up to you how much you want to put in. There's my pepper. And pop some salt in as well. Give that a final mix. So your seasonings all spread about. So that is your pastry made. It is smooth and it is very silky as well so what i did forget to say at the beginning is you'll want to pre your oven to gas mark five if you gas or 190 degrees celsius if you're electric i've got a gas oven so mine's going on gas mark five so i'm just going to grab my spoon and what i'm going to do now is transfer can you see that there? I'm just going to transfer this now into my pre lined baking dish tray tin, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's a spring loaded cake tin that I normally put in it, but I'm just popping my pastry into here and the piece pudding, we should say. Want to make sure I get it all out the bowl. I'm going to use my I'm 
Right, so once you've got it all in, what you need to do is spread it out in a nice even layer. Oh yeah, this one is a good one. So just going to spread it all out. So try and make it as nice as flat as you as you can and even. It's up to you if you just want to do it round the bottom, or I try and do a little bit up round the side as well. So I'm just going to spread it round here. And just as you go around this side a little bit, just trying to make it all as equal as you can. It's a bit different when you're doing it on the video to when you're doing it normally. more times you do this the more you get used to it normally i do it in a smaller tin but i found that the pastry is a little bit too thick you could split it into two um eight inch um cake tins as well for the same mixture that you've got you just have to double your quantities for your ingredients that you put in uh, inside your filling so all right so just try and get that as nice and even as possible Right then, so once that is done, what you need to do is get your fork, just prick your base a couple of times. It's just to help it when you bake it. Now you're going to pop that in the oven for 20 minutes. So I'll just pop this in and I'll get back to you on the next bit. So while the pastry is blind baking, I'm going to make the filling for it. So I'm just getting a tub of the fat-free cork. I'm just going to pop that in my my bowl make sure get everything in there I am then going to crack three eggs into this one Hopefully not getting any shell in. That's it. And the three eggs are in there. I'm just going to use my fork and I'm going to give this a good whisk in. You can whisk your eggs first if you want and then whisk, uh, whisk them into the quark. You could also use a hand blender as well, which I might end up doing if I can't get this to the consistency I want with my fork. Just a hand whisk even, just anything to give it a good mix up and make it a nice smooth mix. Now before I get my my whisk out saying that it is coming together nicely now. So yeah that is coming together lovely. So I don't think there's any need for the whisk. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some mixed herbs in. I'm not measuring, um, just I just go by eyesight, so I'm just sprinkling some mixed herbs in. Same for garlic granules, just gives it a bit of extra taste. And also season as well with some salt and pepper. And then that is the filling bit done. So I'm just going to now wait for the uh, 
pastry base to continue cooking. I'm going to pop this back in the fridge now. And then as soon as the pastry is out, I'm going to allow it to cool first before I put any filling in. So I'll jump on when it's all ready. So it has been baking in the oven for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to leave this now to cool down. And then as soon as it's cooled down, we will get filling it and then cooking it. So leave it for as long as it takes to cool. And then we'll jump right back in. So now the base is cooled, I'm just going to start putting my ingredients in. So I've chopped up um, the lean ham. So I'm just going to spread this along the bottom. I like to pack it full with the ingredients. So I'm just going to evenly spread that out. Save them cherry tomatoes till the end. So I might just empty that all in and then spread it around a bit, a bit easier. Right, put them to the side a second, so I've just spread that ham out. Got some mushrooms. Some people cook their ingredients first. Because this is going to go in the oven for 40 minutes, I just um, I don't bother to cook them first. Plus, I sometimes think it's nice to have that little bit of a crunch in there as well. But it, once again, it is up to the individual. So I'm just putting these mushrooms in. Oh, a couple of peppers as well. Just mix it all in. Making sure to go up to the edges as well. mixing some of the onion in as well I absolutely love onion I'm sort of one of them strange people that could eat onion like it's an apple so as you can see there is absolutely loads of ingredients in here well, loads of filling makes this nice and filling and it's nice to have with um, a salad or even with some chips and beans for something a little bit a bit different so that's all that in what I'm also going to do as well is into this your cork and your egg mix I am just going to pop a little bit of my cheese allowance in there and give that a mix through and then save the rest to scatter on top just going to give that a little bit of a mix in that. Sure, it's all mixed in properly. And then I'm going to pop this over the top. Already the, the smell from this is smelling absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really looking forward to this today for my lunch. I'm just going to use the back of this to spread it all around. So it gets in there, not all that ingredients. really chocolate full this is Just spread it out evenly you want it as even as possible so it gets a, an even cook So once that is all evenly spread out, I'm going to take these cherry tomatoes and I'm just going to lie them on the top, just press them in.
and I'm going to scatter my cheese over the top of this. Now I'm going to pop this back in the oven on the Gas Mark 5 and I'll leave this in there for 40 minutes or until it's firm. So pop this in and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. So after 40 minutes this is what the quiche looks like. So this quiche is free, full of speed, there is two healthy extra A's in there but obviously that means that if you split that into four each quarter is a quarter of your healthy extra A. So yeah, I'm fair looking forward to this. So I'm going to leave it to cool now. And um, once it is cooled, I shall take it out of the tin and I shall show you what it looks like. 